at the Milken Institute, we have Franklin Allen, the Nippon Life Professor at Wharton. Welcome, Franklin. Franklin, you are our co-author on our latest book, Financing the Future, and you're here today to talk about that. Um, we'll have a wonderful forum later this afternoon with Glenn Diego, the other co-author. I wanted you to talk about where you see financial innovations right now and what they can do to address some of our pressing issues. So I think financial innovations have a tremendous amount to do. One of the most interesting areas, I think, is in the developing world. And you talk quite a bit about that. There's a whole chapter of that devoted in your book. Tell us more about what you're doing. So it's a, it's a field that's developing extremely fast. So I, I just came back from a trip from Kenya to look at their mobile phone banking system that they're just developing. And this is really a world leader. In Kenya? In Kenya, yes. It's uh, surprising. It's not it China, it's not India, it's Kenya. And they really have done something that I don't think anywhere else in the world has yet got to, to the same level. And what are, they, what are they able to do on their phones? So they have a, it's very cheap phones that the Chinese make, which cost 20 to $30. And you can make payments across the country. It happens in about 30 seconds. It's very safe. It's very efficient. And it's, it's way ahead of anything that we have in the U.S., for example. So connect the dots for me. How does this form of payment, basically a technology, an innovation in technology, how does that create innovation within an economy, such, such as the economy in Kenya? Well, it used to be that if you wanted to pay somebody or, or send them money, you had to give it to the bus driver or do something. So it was very difficult to make transfers. The economy was very slow because of that. Now, if you work in Nairobi and your family is in the countryside in the middle of nowhere, you can still send them the money directly. It gets there in 30 seconds. If they want to pay using the phone, they can do that. If they want to go and get the cash, they can go to one of the agencies, and there are 19,000 or so of those. So they're all over. So it means that it's much easier to do, it, to do everything than it is before that. And this is actually happening? It's not just a pilot program? It's no, this is happening. There's 40 or 50 percent of the population uses this regularly. And I think it, it's very new still, though. So they're, they're developing it. They've just introduced uh, what's called MK Show, which allows you to, to use it with a bank account. In a few months, you'll be able to borrow from it or buy an insurance policy. So it's, it's changing as, as we speak. And where do we see this developing to? I think this will spread around the developing world and this big problem that we've had that poor people in most countries have very limited access to any kind of financial services is going to change and this is going to really improve financial innovation and all the, the regular things that we talk about in, in a huge way. That's obviously Africa is a huge base of what we consider con uh, future consumers. Um, and future businesses and future ideas for the global economy. Um, what else do you see happening in financial innovations? Well, hopefully closer to home that we'll manage to get the housing finance system fixed and have innovations which have a lot of the advantages of our traditional system without a lot of the disadvantages that we've seen. And have you seen anything lately coming up that we could perhaps look forward to? Well, I think one of the, the big innovations is probably going to be what they use in Europe, which is covered bonds. And these are uh, bonds where they're not just backed by the bonds, but they're also backed by the bank. They're a liability of the bank. So, uh, for example, in Denmark, they've had these for 200 years, mm -hmm. and they haven't had a single default. Well, excellent. Thank you for joining us today, Franklin. I know these and many of the other ideas are included in our book, Financing the Future. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jennifer.